Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Today it's about preparing your eggshells for use. Now I have a video that I did, I think it's been about two years now, about how I use eggshells for my health, but it, they do have many other uses in your garden as well, and I do feed them back to my chickens. And in that video I had forgotten to talk about washing the eggshells and how I powder them up. So I wanted to cover that here and a couple other points. Now if you're interested in that video I mentioned, I'll go ahead and link to that down below where I go in more depth about how I use them and how they've helped me, especially as a menopausal woman. But I have tried adding them to tooth powder as long as they're finely powdered up. They work pretty good in tooth powder. I do still prefer adding the magnesium and calcium powders to my tooth powder because they're finer. I can't quite get the eggshell powder as fine as I would like to go in the tooth powder but it is an option. And I do think I covered that in one of my tooth powder videos, but I don't remember which one it was. I have at least three or four different recipes out there. So as you can see here, I have the eggshells in two forms. I have them just crushed and then I have them powdered up. So when I go to powder my eggshells, there's two things that I do. I either use my blender back there, my old Oster blender that I've had forever that I didn't have to pay very much money for and it's still hanging in there strong unlike some expensive ones I've bought. And I went ahead and bought a backup because I could buy two of these for still less than some of the more expensive ones I've bought or even some of the most expensive ones on the market. I could buy several backups, but I still haven't needed it. So anyway, powdering up in a blender or even using a coffee grinder. Sometimes a coffee grinder, depending on what it is, can grind things up a little finer than you can do in your blender. It just depends on how much I have to do anymore for the eggshells I do just use the blender and so it's that simple now when it comes to cleaning the eggshells all I do is rinse them in warm water and no I do not peel out the membrane leave the membrane there's a lot of health benefits in that membrane it's about just getting the raw egg out of there and then I just let them dry on the uh, towel that I put my hand wash dishes on but then um, even if they're still damp, I'll throw them into this bread basket that Mary had sent me. I don't actually use it for proofing bread because uh, I just like using a glass bowl for that myself. But it came with this nice cloth cover, so I'll just throw the eggshells in there and then cover them with the cloth to keep dust off of them. And that way they can finish drying if they don't get dried all the way in there. And then when I'm ready, then I take them out of the bowl and either throw them in my blender and process them up. I just I push them down in there. I might even take like this fruit masher or a tamper and then kind of push them down in there a little bit to break them up a little bit more to give it a jump start and process them into a powder. Or I simply by hand, if I want them like this, I will simply cr just crush them by hand like this and then store them in a jar like I've got. Uh, these ones are the ones that you would want to use if you're using it for your garden is for uh, putting on top of the soil to help prevent slugs and snails. Then this is the size you're going to want. You don't want it into a fine powder. You want it big enough that it's going to cut into their soft bodies and prevent them from wanting to crawl over those eggshells. And then this is also how I feed them back to the chickens. And then a powder like this is what you're going to want to add if you're going to take it as a supplement like I often do or add to your soil for like when you're planting your tomatoes, you can put a little bit of your eggshell powder in the hole where you're going to put your tomato plant. So that's going to add some more minerals there or even sprinkling on your dog food or whatever just to help get more minerals into their diet as well. Now as far as salmonella, now, I just told you how I clean them. I just do warm water and that's it, a warm water, water rinse. I don't spray anything on them, but if you're very concerned about salmonella, because I know a lot of people are worried about that, then there is one more step that you'll want to take after you rinse it, just put them on a baking sheet and then bake them in your oven for 10 minutes at only 200 degrees. That's all you need to kill the salmonella. Or if you're doing like I used to do it when I would dry the eggshells on top of my wood stove, 
that would do it too. So I would just recommend not getting them too close. That was part of my problem is I got them, I would get them too close down to the heat and then it would end up burning some of the eggshells. So I had to learn to set them up higher. But I usually have so much stuff going on on top of my wood stove during the time we have fires that I just, I just don't even bother with that. I just let them air dry. All these eggshells actually are from my own chickens. And I recommend if you're going to be consuming your eggshells, either get them from your own chickens or if you're having to purchase eggs, just try to get the healthiest raised chicken eggs that you can. The best you're gonna do is buying from someone locally, such as how we do, we sell some of our excess eggs around here and our chickens are only fed organic feed and whatever other goodies that we throw out to them. And they're free range, at least as free as they can get on our small piece of property. But if you have to buy them for the, from the store, just really look for the healthiest ones you can. The most organic, you know, naturally raised, not fed hormones and garbage. So, and no, your chickens do not have to be vegan. By the way, chickens are omnivores. They're not created to be vegan. So they eat meat and they eat grains and they eat greens. They eat it all and they need that protein. So I wouldn't buy eggs that were on a vegetarian only diet because to me they're not going to be the healthiest because they're not getting all the bugs and worms and other types of meat. I mean chickens will even eat mice. So just keep that in mind. They need that protein. It's part of their natural diet. And I would never mistreat my chickens by preventing them from having those good things that they need that comes natural to them. Okay, well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to go ahead and check out the other uh, video I'll have in the description box down below about how I use eggshells and their benefits and also the FAQ playlist I'll be putting down there because all these uh, frequently asked questions go in there. It doesn't matter what the question's about. They go in that whole playlist. You can just open up the playlist and just scroll through there and see if you can find any questions that you might have already had, whether it be about vinegar or whatever. It doesn't matter. I have a lot of vinegar ones in there, as a lot of you know. So, uh, and then go ahead and feel free to ask your questions in the comments down below if you have any more. That gives me ideas to put out more of these videos that are more to the point so I can share them with you the next time these questions come up. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.